फाइनली वी आर हियर थोड़ा सा लेट हो गया आज अराउंड फाइव टेन मिनट्स बट बट ये धीरे धीरे चेंज करेंगे हम और आज हमारा है मनी मंडे एपिसोड थ्री आज फिर मार्केट गिरा है एंड टुडे इज वेरी एक्साइटिंग और इन्फॉर्मेटिव एपिसोड विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ई टी एफ म्यूचुअल फंड्स एंड बेट कॉइन्स एंड क्रिप्टो करेंसी तो बिना कोई डिले किए हम शुरू करते हैं आज का मनी मंडे गाइस दिस इज शुभम गौतम वेलकम टू लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट वेलकम 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 जनता वेलकम वेलकम टू मनी मंडे एपिसोड थ्री एंड Uh, जो नए लोग हैं उनके लिए हम बता दें कि हम स्टार्ट करते हैं विथ मार्केट रिव्यू देन वी गो टू द फैक्टर्स विच चेंज द मार्केट एंड देन वी गो टू द पिक ऑफ द वीक एंड टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ई टी एफ एंड म्यूचुअल फंड विल ट्राई टू रिव्यू और पिक वन म्यूचुअल फंड आफ्टर दैट विल क्लोज अवर सेशन विथ क्रिप्टो करेंसी न्यूज एंड प्रॉब्लम विल चूज अ क्रिप्टो ऑफ द वीक ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स चेक हाउ वॉज द मार्केट टूडे as expected right market actually fall today uh, with like heavily 2-3% tak fall hua like uh, and again the biggest hit went to the banks and uh, if you uh, if you have seen the last episode if you have uh, uh, seen our last episode we uh, talk about all the factors due to which the market is falling these days and one of the major factor about that is uh, the corona corona crisis is increasing day by day uh, the vac- there is shortage of vaccination there is a, a little bit of uh, there is little bit of panic acro- among the people there is little bit of panic among the whole public and uh, they they have the, the trust issue with the government they have a trust issue with the hospitals and all which is causing all this fall of the market uh, so hum kya expect karte hain like futures mein kya hoga future mein it's all depend upon ki how uh, the government is going to uh, tackle this problem uh, if uh, we'll be start getting like uh, ajik announcement aaya tha ke in the evening ki government is planning to uh, release uh, uh, like vaccines for people who are under over 18 uh, and if it, people start getting the vaccination over 18 then we can see again a build up of market like build, market will go again uh, but uh, as expected today market supposed to fall because last week we had very really bad, bad news about the whole corona thing and i mean there's a circulation of pictures where they they are burying multiple people at same time there's queues in the those places uh, there's there's a not availability of beds there's not availability of oxygen cylinders so these sare issues ek bahut bada panic create kar rahe world ke economy pe bhi and in sab cheezon directly affect karta hai now uh, what is this an opportunity for you Uh, is this an uh, like how it affects you right so jo log already uh, investment kar chuke hain uh, jo log already kafi uh, uh, companies pe laga chuke hain when there was a high like recently high mein tha so probably they can hold for now i mean uh, surely there's a there's a fall in the market and it's going to boom up but agar uh, vaccinations nahi aate ya fir there's a, again a problem with uh, Uh, lockdown like if there's a multiple lockdowns in multiple cities then there's a very good chances ki ek fir fall down sudden fall aayega up to like 5 10% uh okay uh, so the, and uh, uh, the the biggest uh, section which is going to affect from this fall will be uh, auto industry and uh, uh, travel industry so if i'll say companies like indigo and all and pvr and entertainment industry will also take a hit, this a hit so when i say entertainment industry i'm not talking about the online ott platforms or online streaming service they will still be doing good uh, they will be uh, making a lot of money but 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 the, the companies like uh, pv and inox they are probably going to take a big hit because uh, agar lockdown hatta bhi aur lockdown nahi bhi lagta like suppose jaisa bhi kahi jagah uh, naya plan aa raha hai ki they won't do a full city lockdown they will a small uh, एरिया वाइज लॉकडाउन एक पर्टिकुलर एरिया सील कर देंगे जहाँ पे केसेस ज्यादा आ रहे हैं देल क्रिएट स्मॉल जोन एंड उनको लॉकडाउन किया जाएगा उसके बाद भी देर बी पैनिक सिचुएशन राइट देर बी पैनिक सिचुएशन अमॉन्ग पीपल देर बी पैनिक सिचुएशन अमॉन्ग द पब्लिक्स एंड पैनिक सिचुएशन इवॉल्व देव देव देल नॉट गो आउट 
they will avoid going out and they they'll avoid going to a movie so they'll avoid going to travel which will directly affect to this airline industry and uh, pv industry so i'll suggest like uh, don't start investing now probably you want to hold on to your money for some period of time because uh, stocks like indigo and all is really good like uh, they are supposed to fall down like just a market shell they they will fall down and if they're going to like 1200 1100 range it's a very good uh, place to buy it i mean if you buy it like 1000 or 1100 uh, probably in a year or two like jab season normal hogi you will be making a good amount like 100 200 percent amount of return also like it, it will easily tra- go to 2000 or 1800 uh okay so that was the i mean that is a major major factor uh, due to which uh, uh the whole stock market fall today uh, and uh, as you see right auto industry again there's a 2.8% dip which is a huge dip in single day and it is known fact right logo pata tha ki auto girega kyunki lockdown aayega to people won't go and buy these things kyunki sales mein kami aayegi reality like real estate and auto will be like and travel industry like these three sectors and will take major hit there will be a sector which will be making money which is pharma industry and uh, we i think we can see that uh, if we go to the pharma stocks let's search the top pharma stocks uh okay so cadila didn't make much difference it was just 0.01% but still it was rising it didn't fall with respect to market uh let's say about talk about sibla so as you see like most of the pharma stocks are going up and they will be going up similarly fmcg so these are the two industry I mean, कुछ भी सिचुएशन होती है तो हमेशा ये होता है कि एक पर्टिकुलर किसी सेक्टर को फायदा उसमें होता है एंड इन करेंट सिचुएशन इन द करेंट फेस ऑफ द लाइफ और फेस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट्स गोइंग टू बी द फार्म इंडस्ट्री विच विल बी मेकिंग लॉट ऑफ मनी दैट्स ट्रू प्रॉब्लम इट्स अ गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर लाइक अ शॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट वे यू कैन इन्वेस्ट इन दू ऑफ द फार्मा कंपनीज एंड मेक सम चौंक आउट ऑफ इट uh okay uh fine so we review the market like why fall and we'll be doing now the second part is the stock check right so stock check mein hum kya karne wale hain ki last hum har hafte ek stock ko review karte hain like it called the pick of the week and then what we'll do is like we review all the uh, all the stocks which we have reviewed like picked last time So till now we have uh, talked about mostly about four major stocks, and we'll be reviewing that four major stocks. So the first one is the Cadila. Uh, Cadila का हमने review तब किया था जब दो हफ्ते पहले when there's a news that uh, Cadila is seeking not for uh, their new medicine for hepatitis C, which is COVID uh, COVID-19 pre-dose. So it will uh, like hepatitis B and hepatitis A may you get the injection like as a pre-dose as a child. this will also work, work as a uh, pre dose and uh, it will reduce the chances of caughting corona for you and agar abhi bhi unko i think uh, they didn't get a nod on it and once they'll get a approval on that medicine this stock will again jump up it's going to go around 6 700 easily uh, because there will be a lot of panic buying also okay so we this is cadila healthcare uh, second stock and it already jumped since, since the news right since the news uh, of their covid covid pre dose hepatitis c medicine already jumped a lot like uh, i will show you the graph you can actually uh, see it yourself it's pretty obvious let's go uh, back by 6 month and it somewhere around here 420 range that time they have made an announcement that they are seeking up for approval for covid c or hepatitis c medicine and since then the stock jumped like anything like uh, in a week or two it jumped from 420 to 520 which is like 100 rupees gain or uh, okay so that was about cadila health healthcare our the next talk we were going to talk about is the tata consumer and tata consumer is was it doing i was doing it it went down today like by 1% which is fine which is totally fine i mean there's nothing to worry about uh, this stock is anyways going to uh, give you a good return in long term uh, there's nothing wrong with the stock and uh, 
overall it still performed really well uh, since last year or since last lockdown and jaise uh, jaise market inka badhta hai like they they are still in the growing up range like the growth phase so they have this opportunity to you know go 1500 or 1600 range also like right now they are 600 range and uh, i think by the end of year they should hit at least uh, 800 to 900 next is reliance reliance actually fall this uh, week and uh, and uh, that is uh, fine because ki uh, uh, reliance industries are actually considered as of uh, so reliance ke andar like there are multiple companies there is jo there is a uh, petroleum segment and what not so since the lockdown right it it affects the uh, uh, and they are into like entertainment business and what not so Like, yeah. Okay. So, uh, I mean, th- there's always uh, when there's a whole market is falling, and it will definitely gonna affect a company who is into different phases, like different. Like, there's a one company which is then into many segments, and uh, any segment fall will also affect this particular seg- company. But. Uh, uh, uh the problem the, the 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 better part about this company is since they're in the multiple segments they there's there's always a opportunity for them there's always a, a opportunity to of growth for them and they they're now targeting a very big market in the future so 1900 is actually a very good buy options for you like it's a very good opportunity to buy this uh, particular stock for you i mean anywhere around 1800 900 is a, a pickup for this particular stock and uh it's going to grow up it's not going to fall there's one more stock uh, uh, you can think about if you want we haven't covered this it's called about india so why i say this is a very good stock to buy because uh, uh, I'll, i'll tell you why uh, so apart from making uh, cancer medicine and other medicines they are making a very good product called ensure plus which is which is being sell out like a hot cake आजकल मतलब आपको हर स्टोर में हर डॉक्टर आपको सजेस्ट कर रहा है स्पेशली इफ यू आर कीमो पेशेंट और कैंसर पेशेंट ये आपको हर एक नेक्स्ट डॉक्टर रेफर कर ही रहा है एंड यू विल फाइंड दिस प्रोडक्ट इन एवरी फार्मेसी दीज डेज तो सिंस दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट इज गोइंग अब इसकी डिमांड बढ़ रही है और बिक रहा है तो ओवरऑल ग्रोथ ओवरऑल सेल ऑफ द लाइक ग्रोथ ऑफ कंपनी इज गोइंग अप एंड फ्यूचर में जिस आपसे लाइक uh if 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 the company is going into lockdown if the if the uh if the cities are going to lockdown and the companies are going into wfh or hybrid model like more and more people will start working from their home and not from the offices what will happen is people start getting different kind of issues like their bone density go low because they're not getting enough sunlight uh, uh they are having back ache problem uh, so on in those cases you will be uh, mostly advice for two things one is the protein powder generally i would suggest you an about product and uh, other thing is vitamin medicines and uh, in vitamin medicines is actually a uh, kind of advice these days for every next uh, disease and the next company i'm going to talk about is it's it's a vitamin d based company so first like let's talk about 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 is uh, about is outperforming nifty it's like a uh, तो सम ऑफ लाइक पहले एक चीज़ बहुत बड़ी चीज़ हैंडल कर लेते हैं ना डिस्कस कर लेते हैं वो बहुत ही पैनिक पॉइंट होता है कई लोगों का कि कई लोग बोलते हैं कि 14,700 इज अ वेरी ह्यूज नंबर और लाइक इट्स अ वेरी हाई नंबर टू बाय अ स्टॉक आई एम नॉट एबल टू बाय इट तो आई विल प्रॉब्ली बाय अ टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड रुपीज स्टॉक तो दो सौ तीन सौ रुपये स्टॉक लेने के बाद आप चौदह हज़ार का स्टॉक लेंगे मतलब ये नहीं कि इट्स इट वॉन्ट ग्रो और इट वॉन्ट मेक गिव यू अ गुड रिटर्न दिंग इज की the 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 uh, the reason the stock is going up or the value is so high because the stock is never splitted so generally hota kya hai ki agar company ki values badhti hain or they are growing up and uh, they'll split their stock so they'll do a 1 by 3 1 by 2 so to so the valuation still that high the valuation is that high and the stock value is that high but they have uh, diluted more number of shares in the market तो एक स्टॉक की वैल्यू उतनी ना बढ़ जाए कि इजीली आम जनता खरीद सके 
or com- some companies never do that that's why their companies uh, valuation go real high like they'll go like 14000 15000 for example uh, ac for the aisha motors which are uh, not the aisha uh, mahindra and mahindra Yeah, so if you see the rate of MRF is seventy nine thousand two hundred thirty one rupees. That means uh, uh, this stock won't grow anymore. No, it doesn't mean that. It it, it still have the chances to grow. It means that the the stocks have is not been spread very often. So since the it's not been spread, the valuation is still uh, high, uh, and that's how it works, right? Here, okay. Well, इनका मार्केट कैपिटलाइजेशन बढ़ रहा है इनके नंबर ऑफ कंज्यूमर बढ़ रहे हैं तो द ग्रोथ तो हो रही है एंड द ग्रोथ होगी तो आपके स्टॉक की वैल्यूएशन भी बढ़ेगी द ओनली वे टू मेक योर स्टॉक वैल्यू गो डाउन लाइक द डिक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ सिंगल स्टॉक इज इफ योर कंपनी इज परफॉर्मिंग रियली बैड और इफ नॉट परफॉर्म द ग्रोथ और यू डू अ स्प्लिट ऑफ द स्टॉक्स सो यू विल डू वन बाय टू वन बाय थ्री एंड विल आल्सो गिव दैट स्प्लिट स्टॉक टू योर टू योर कंज्यूमर लाइक होल्डर्स आल्सो सो कई बार ये बहुत एक फायदा वाली चीज़ भी होती है ऐसे कि कई कंपनियाँ दे ऑफ वन डू स्प्लिट लाइक एवरी एन एवर द वैल्यूशन गो वेरी हाई दे डू अ स्प्लिट एंड जो एग्जिस्टिंग होल्डर्स रहते हैं उस कंपनी के उनको भी स्प्लिट का फायदा मिलता है तो सपोज इफ आई हैव हंड्रेड शेयर्स ऑफ रिलायंस टूडे एंड टू मोरो रिलायंस डिसाइडेड टू गो टू डू अ स्टॉक स्प्लिट टू वन टू वन बाई टू तो एवरी ओनर हु इज हैविंग ओनिंग अ वन स्टॉक ऑफ रिलायंस विल गेट टू स्टॉक्स ऑफ रिलायंस and so my stock value will change to my stock value will be same like mera jo uh, wallet rahega usme jo value rahegi utni same hi rahegi jo 100 stock ke thi but next day the number of stocks will be double so from it 100 it will become 200 and the value will become half of it usse fir again grow karna chalu karega yeah so uh, that's when never never be afraid of the stocks which are having rate really high value like 79000 12000 15000 इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि वो ग्रो नहीं करेंगे इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि स्प्लिट नहीं किया एंड स्टिल आर ह्यूज चांसेस फॉर दो स्टॉक या ओके सो वी टॉक अबाउट अबाउट एंड नेक्स्ट अवर पिक ऑफ द वीक इज एक्चुअली फर्मेंटा बायोटेक नॉट श्योर वेदर यू हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस कंपनी नॉट मेनी पीपल हर्ड अबाउट दिस कंपनी so this company deals with uh, vitamin d medicines and uh, they are the major supplier of vitamin d3 in this country so uh, so why this company right like ki aisa kya ho gaya ki vitamin d3 supply kar raha hai to its valuation badhegi again uh, as i mentioned earlier in right, last point ki since the lockdown and uh, uh, you can check this fact right you can go to a doctor and say i have a backache or uh, even for even in the case of pregnancy and all vitamin d is something which is suggested by every other doctor wo aajkal medicine kind of mandatory likh diye hain if you are covid patient if you are uh, uh, if you are having a bone problem like a backache or upper back or if you are pregnant if you are going from some other kind of deficiency and in this lockdown right the people the, the more people start working from home the less they will go out i mean if they go to offices and all they still go like for a walk or something in between लिटिका ब्रेक तो थोड़ा बहुत बाहर नेचर से उनका मेल मिलाप हो जाता था इट्स इज लॉकडाउन दिस हार्डली पीपल गो इंट्रैक्ट लाइक गो आउट इन सन सिंस दिस होल कोविड सिचुएशन पीपल आर इवन अफ्रेड टू गो आउट राइट दिस इट्स बेटर टू स्टे इन हाउस एंड बी सेफ रेदर गो आउट एंड कैच द कोरोना सो उससे क्या हो रहा है बिकॉज दे आर नॉट गोइंग आउट एंड नॉट गेटिंग द फ्रेश सन लाइट एंड सन रेज ऑफ फ्रेश एयर बट ऑफ एन और कई बार क्या होता है कि दिस अ इशू इन वेंटिलेशन ऑफ योर हाउस पीपल स्टार्ट गेटिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इन द बॉडी स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग बिकॉज वी आर एनिमल राइट इन दैंड वी आर एनिमल एंड वी नीड नॉट वी नीड द टच ऑफ नेचर टू टू ग्रो और वी नीड टच ऑफ नेचर टू लाइक सर्वाइव इन दिस वर्ल्ड वी आर नॉट वी आर नॉट मेड टू बी इट इन अ in a eight cross eight room and whole day and do work uh aise mein banaya nahi gaya tha though we are transition to that kind of person like but we are not supposed to live like that 
तो उससे होता क्या कि वी स्टार्ट गेटिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स कभी कहीं बैक एक होता है कभी कुछ होता है कभी कुछ होता है एंड वैन यू गोल डॉक्टर दिक दिस मेडिसिन इज काइंड ऑफ कॉमन लाइक विटामिन डी इज काइंड ऑफ कॉमन मेडिसिन टू एवरी डे डिजीज दीज डेज सो सिंस कोरोना इज नॉट गोइंग अवे दिस ईयर एनी वे सो द डब्ल्यू एफ एच गोइंग टू इंक्रीज एंड द मोर द डब्ल्यू एफ एच और द हाईब्रिड वर्क फ्लो और द परमानेंट डब्ल्यू एफ एच थिंक विल इंक्रीज the more people start getting these kind of issues and uh, the more will be the demand of this particular medicine so there's a huge market for this medicine and uh, like this company and i'm pretty sure uh, they are going to um, the stock going to jump further actually this particular stock jumped around uh, 16 11% just today or uh, there uh, yeah, i will will also check in the screen huh? okay nahi no. boring nahi karte hain isme aur nahi batate so we we discuss the basic baseline like why i think this this particular company is going to grow more further and why this is a good stock comment down what you feel about it and uh, then let's 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 go for the next topics right what weeks time you keep it simple and small Please just give me one second. Uh, I told one one small thing, and then we'll go to the next topic. Okay. Fine. So coming back to now, next topic. Uh, uh, okay. One. Second. Oh, sorry. Uh, one more second. Let's take a second. New. ETF you want to understand what is index funds are though we have discussed the index funds in our first episode but uh, i am going to talk about index funds today also so index funds are nothing it's like a uh, accumulation of different stocks but they are the real time so mutual funds is also the accumulation of different stock and on the basis of that and they have values generated similarly uh, index fund is accumulated from different uh, stocks and they are values generated on the price of total accumulation okay ab hota hai ki ki mutual fund you cannot uh, do a uh, instant buy or instant uh, instant sell okay it will be like if you buy a mutual fund for the day day ke end like 3 o'clock 4 o'clock jo value hogi us pe uh, us time pe close hone pe end of the market us value pe aapko mutual fund milega ya fir us value pe wo mutual fund sell hoga but in case of index funds you can buy it sell like a stock so you can buy a nifty 50 now so nifty 50 bsc sensex nifty bank nifty it bsc small cap all these are index funds so you can buy as a stock and then you can sell as a stock so it will iski jo value hoti hai it will, it will change, depend upon which which kind of stocks they are holding so nifty 50 actually uh, holds like the accumulate the top 50 stocks in the uh, the nse national stock exchange not the, the sensex a bsc so so and the sensex do this for the bsc but instead of 50 stocks sensex deals with just the 30 stocks and ab kya hota hai ki ab etfs aate hain so etfs kya they are again one more wrapper on top of it so, so they are the wrapper on top of index funds so what etf does is they accumulate different kind of uh, index funds and generate one one single etf and you can buy that or sell that like a stock okay so that is the etf fund that that is etfs right now we'll talk about the mutual funds like where does the mutual fund sits here now mutual fund uh, as i just mentioned out like mutual fund is what how it works is like a, uh, earlier it was like i think even till now it's majorly the mutual funds are managed by big uh, financial corps and what they do is they they will create their own mutual funds and how they'll create a mutual fund they will uh, they can do it by sector they can do it by 
different uh, uh, market. They can do it via different uh, uh, different indexes also, and they can do it via different uh, you know uh, industries. So uh, what they'll do is they'll accumulate different uh, stocks and they'll generate as a single mutual fund. So my mutual funds depends upon the value of this particular X number of stocks. Okay. So when you invest the money on your mutual fund, they will take that money, okay, and that money money will be invested and in that distributed across those companies. Okay. So आपका पैसा वो लेके वो multiple companies लाएंगे और उससे जो return आएगा एक percentage वो रखेंगे और उसका जो return का percentage का जो value आएगी वो बाकी जो जितने भी investors सब पे distribute कर देंगे. So it's kind of uh, they are doing a demultiplexing and then the multiplexing. So if you don't know what is demultiplexing, multiplexing means is multiplexing is, is many to one, like is a many input and one output, and demultiplexing is like one to many. So kind of actually multiplexing to multiplexer, the the uh, the your broker sits as a demultiplexer. So they will take money from multiple people, and then they will be uh, that your particular mutual fund will go. Money in that particular mutual fund, and the mutual fund will distribute that money to multiple uh, stocks, right? And that's how a mutual fund works. And uh, they their value changes depending upon how the stocks are performing. So eventually, eventually, everything is dependent upon the the market, right? How market is performing, how market is performing will affect your your ETFs. It will affect your index funds, and it will affect your mutual funds also. So when they say subject uh, mutual funds are subject to mass market risk, this they mean that if the market will double, then your money will double. No matter where you are putting it. So except liquid uh, mutual funds, so like liquid, we have talked about in the first episode. If you have, no, if you if you want to know about liquid liquid mutual funds, you can go to my first episodes of Money Monday. You can watch it there. All right. So now we understand what is mutual fund, and now we know what is. What is mutual ETF mutual funds? So the same concept of mutual funds is applied over ETFs. Is ETF mutual fund fine? So okay, yeah. okay, right. So now, now in IPL, they were talking about the ETF uh, mutual funds for foreign market. So what what are those like? I will I'll give an example for this. So we will be reviewing that one of the. Uh, Mutual fund, which is which is investing in foreign market, and how does so? Uh, I mean, uh, if if you are okay, so I'll I'll put it like this: if you are like a normal person, if like a person who is, who is residing in India, good, and want to invest in the uh, U.S. market or European market, right, or Japanese market, like any market except India, how you will do it for now? So. The answer is not that simple. Like it, it depends upon market to market trade. Right? If you want to invest in a U.S. market, you will probably uh, use apps like Amri Trade, uh, where they will allow let you uh, with some basic KYC. You can uh, you can apply for different uh, you can um, apply for different uh, uh, stocks in the U.S. and uh, you can buy it and hold it and sell it like any stock exchange. This is like uh, any broker trade, brokerage app like uh, Zeroda or uh, Upstocks or Kotak Mahindra, similar that way. Right? Now there's a other way to do it. Like you can buy this uh, mutual funds which invest in foreign market. Okay. And one of those example is Nippon India U.S. Equity Opportunities Fund. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So I got just disturbed from some ping, and there's no actual ping. So coming back to our Nippon India U.S. Security Opportunities Fund. 
Um, the performance in all you can check here, like how it performs against the, uh, the Nifty, but uh, we'll be more interested towards the uh, how it's been allocated, like how this values has been uh, allocated different stocks. So how you are applying to different foreign stocks using this particular uh, this particular stock, this particular stock, uh, like how how you will be applying to different stocks using this particular mutual fund, right? So if you see here, this particular stock is distributing its money to many, many, many uh, different uh, industries or different companies, right? And uh, if you look in the name of those companies, are like generally, if you do a little, little bit of research about any companies, if you go and check their page, uh, you you can figure out ki, uh, you, you can easily figure it out that which companies may be So the the least uh, research you can do before applying for any mutual fund or before buying to any mutual fund is look into like what kind of industries they investing on. And if you think all the companies which they are investing on are good or they are going to perform really well in the future, then probably you want to buy that particular mutual fund. But if you think there's some companies which are very dicey and you think it doesn't, it's not going to perform well in the future, it's going to go down, then just don't buy that mutual fund or probably know that mutual fund. So we'll, we'll check this one. So the a major part of this particular mutual fund goes to Alphabet, which is Alphabet Incorporation is nothing. It's a parent holding company of Google and all the sub uh, Google, like all the products set with Google, so Nest, which is your home automation thing is also part of Alphabet. Pixel is also part of Alphabet. So anything which comes fall under the radar of Google is fall under the radar of Alphabet. Right? So probably it's a good company. What probably? Definitely it's a good company to buy and they are holding a major part. This is a good deal. Then they have Microsoft, which is again uh, doing really good. They have some good acquisition recently and the product is booming these, but especially during this, uh, lockdown they had a major advantage over other companies because a few of the products grew like anything like azure and uh, teams and uh, if and now more and more companies are moving towards this hybrid or permanent wfh uh, hierarchy right and the more companies will go towards this uh, wfh mode or hybrid mode or uh, permanent wfh mode like pure remote work uh, the more company need more automation tools and uh, more uh, uh, more tools to like where like uh, where people can sync offline or online like without disturbing their daily workflow and easier way to understand each other communication basically okay so why why it's important to uh, work in a, in a work like uh, work offline like in a working space rather than online is that people can communicate easily, right? And they can meet, talk, discuss, and finish things things easily or early, and then ex exploring their thought, like exposing their thoughts to the person in a communication, which often leads to some kind of uh, uh, misengagement or uh, they don't understand properly what the other person is saying, and there's a some uh, uh, difference in the flow of thoughts, which causes the break of uh, their project or like which will delay the, the development of the project. Now, now, a lot of companies, like in, including Microsoft, are working on that problem to solve that problem. That uh, we can create some tools and some uh, features over our existing tools that it will help the users to go remote permanently. And uh, uh, and the, the the better the products will be, the more consumers will be attracted to it. And the more cons consumers will be attracted to it, the company will grow further. And that's why Microsoft is a really good stock to buy and they, they again having a good amount like seven percent of the whole stuff goes to uh, Microsoft. mastercard is little uh like master is mastercard is not a bad stock i'll say but uh, uh they, the visa is still doing better than them overall but they hold visa also that's kind of equivalent low is i find members of fmcg companies is doing good so MC sector will be growing in this particular pandemic and I have no idea about Equia Holdings and Enbridge. So if I have to invest in this particular mutual fund, probably what I'll be doing first is going to this mutual stocks 
and read about them and understand what exactly they're doing and how their books are and how their losses are, how they're performing quarter to quarter. Those are all information you can do it, get in, uh, in screener.io. Just go there and uh, put your stocks like name and you'll get all the details, every details. I said sub details mil jayenge. you can go there and check it out and booking holdings uh, is not a very good option in this pandemic because okay, just we discussed kiya tha already ki pandemic me travel industry ko ek hit padne wala hai for small span time but padne to wala hai to probably not a good thing uh, healthier companies are good uh, Again, Amazon, <laughs> Amazon to achhe hai. Uh, Amazon to uh, doing really good with or without pandemic. So, and with even in the pandemic, they're doing amazingly good. United Health Group is also good, but I I don't I've seen this stock. It's struggling on the move, nikhi hai. Like, and recent year, it's not it didn't move much. It was like a kind of flat, uh, and I don't know what's going to do. Netflix is a good, good stock again. Jaise, jaise, the OTT demand bharti chali hai and uh, yeah, but Uber and Lyft is not the good one here. Yeah. Fidelity is again a good stock to buy. It's and CES I have no idea. They serve or not? Paul Disney. I'm no, I'm. I'm a little skeptical about Walt Disney. So Walt Disney is doing actually good, but. Uh, uh, they are blocking most of the releases because of pandemic and uh, I'm not sure like for like next one or two years how it's going to perform probably not really good but in the long term if it's right so suppose you if you're holding to this particular mutual fund for long term then Walt Disney is really good stock these two I don't have idea but I think they have Chinese market. So Baidu, if you don't know, it's a Chinese uh, uh, search engine, which is only available in China. And uh, it's highly regulated by Chinese government, which is the most popular one in China. Okay. And they have like a huge uh, base, like huge user base, because like most of Chinese people use Baidu in China. I think, I think there's no Google over there, because Google was saying that he, uh, they cannot control the news the way Baidu does. That's why they have like a huge base, and that, that's the that's the thing about uh, uh, a, a major populated uh, market like market like India and China, right? So if some company is growing just in India, or if some company is just covering uh, China, or they will be still a, still a huge company in like overall, like overall in the world, because our past is population like just China and India. Ke, ke, they dominate the world. The company will grow only if it's a country. Just they need to dominate in one single country, and that's what Baidu did. And now they have option to go out. That's what uh, Xiaomi did. That's what uh, OnePlus is doing right now. I mean, up to here, Xiaomi, Xiaomi in US may be banned, but they are targeting a Europe market heavily this time. This time, and OnePlus is also again going towards US UK market now. But starting with the boost, mila tha, right? Wo Indian market and Chinese market. Se hi mila tha. So, as we have this particular company ka portfolio, dekha, right? you can go and check for any mutual fund. Ki iska portfolio mein kya hai. And then you can go and see the performance of it. The third factor which you have to see is ki how often the books change, right? Ki how often uh, a mutual fund uh, uh, portfolio is changing. If some mutual fund what it did do is that they change their portfolio very rapidly, change karte, which is not good. Right? Because the, the manager, the person who is managing a mutual fund doesn't have much knowledge, so he's just trying things out here and there. So you don't want to buy a mutual fund where the portfolio changes rapidly. Ho rahe. You want to buy a mutual fund which is stable. So how does a stable mutual fund work? They are uh, they are investing in a very stable companies. So if you see, like most of the companies in this list are very stable. They are like they have been like 10 15 years to the industry and they are well known name like half of the industry names you just know by the name right and you know that they are not going to fall they are again a giant in their own way so this is probably a very good uh, mutual fund to buy i mean one of the way to invest your money 
Okay, guys. So, so here we are finished with our uh, mutual funds and ETFs and uh, stocks, and now we will be moving to the crypto news. So the first thing in the crypto market, we can check the crypto market check, right? So we want to see anything changed in the crypto market cap or not. Okay, so it's pretty much similar. Uh, Bitcoin is still dominating. The number one position, Ether is following up number three and uh, number two and number three. Oh, so there's one change. If you have not noticed it, Doggy Coin, Doggy Coin is at number five. I think it was not there even under top ten or top twenty. And last week it jumped around four forty five percent, guys. Four forty five percent. Wow, just one week. Uh, okay, so. If you see, uh, most of the companies are like most of the sorry, not the companies. Most of, most of the cryptos are negative in the last seven days. That is due to uh, there was a sudden fall in the whole crypto market last week. Uh, reason being uh, the news from Turkey. I mean, as we have discussed in the last episode, right? Last episode, I have said that the crypto market is more dominated by emotions and the news. Right? It's not dominated by the it's not uh, driven by uh, any other factor. It's mostly driven by the news and the emotions. The last last week, what happened is that Turkey banned all the Bitcoin payments as their local currency crashed. So I think Lira is their own cryptocurrency or their fiat currency. It start failing, so they have blocked all kind of crypto assets or crypto management or cryptocurrency from the country. So the though even it's not a big news overall for crypto, but in any small or big uh, or uh, news drive this market. Like a chota chota news ko like log sunte hain, bolte hain, "Arey, Turkey ne cancel kiya, ab kya hoga?" Fir chhod log panic bahut zildi hota hai isme, because jo naye players unko to pata nahi. Actually, naye players zada panic kar jata hai ki ye bada 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 because 24 by 7 चलता है and ऐसा करते देखते हैं 10 percent, 20 percent, 30 percent एक घंटे बढ़े कई बार ऐसा होता है दें दें सी क्या रहे 5 percent गिर गया वो ये डर लगाते हैं कि कहीं 5 percent 5 percent में गया है next half में ना वो 30 40 percent तो नहीं गिर जाएगा the moment ये thoughts लगते हैं ना आदमी देखता है कि यार market गिरा तो ये start selling it out को ले profit में निकल जाता हूँ and Best way to avoid these kind of fall or best best way to avoid these kind of things is not to watch the market every second. Like you just uh, buy, put your target down and leave it for time. अपने stop loss लगा के या फिर अपने sell trigger point लगा के आप छोड़ सकते हो। अगर आप बार बार हर second उसको आके check करोगे, there will be always a panic running behind you. So after this news, the that Turkey is banning the Bitcoin. There was a fall in every Bitcoin, every cryptocurrency, and uh, again, it's but the fall. Because there's again a rise there in the last 24 hours, they still uh, coming back to kind of the normal level. Like, uh, like there's a, there's a rise, there's a dip, but it's again bouncing up. But Doki Coin <laughs> jumped to like 445 percent, which is amazing. I think it's mostly because of Elon Musk. Elon Musk intuited that it uh, about something about Doggy Coin, and uh, there's a fan of Elon Musk and people, and then they start just buying Doggy Coin. And if Doggy Coin goes to like one dollar or two dollar, I'll be making some more money. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, except Doggy Coin, there's not uh, much changes in the overall market. Like. More or less, the market was same. I think even for the week, the top winner will be Doggy Coin, right? Yeah. The, the the top one was top change, most change one for the week was Doggy Coin, and then rest of them like next one is 84 percent. 84 84 percent in a week is still fine. It's not a huge change in a crypto market. It's now कई बार एक particular crypto वैसे कर लेती है अच्छी so I won't say that he has out of the box, kiya, but uh, the, this Doggy Coin did make a really back, good comeback. And the interesting thing about it is that we are going to cover Doggy Coin as the cryptocurrency of the week. So 
so before that like uh, ki uh, why people are buying dot coin will we should know like what is dot coin right so i'll i'll bring a little bit small video for you guys uh, which you can see and Dogecoin is a revolutionary digital currency. It can Whoa. easily be sent through the internet from person to person with total security. With instant transactions, you can send coins from Melbourne to Mumbai, from Madrid to Minneapolis in seconds. It's simple and safe to use and is already accepted at online retailers where you can buy gifts, groceries, services, and so much more. What makes Dogecoin truly unique from other currencies is how its ease of use makes it the perfect way to instantly send cash gifts to people all around the world. You can send 10 cents to your favorite comment on Twitter or $10 to your favorite band to purchase their latest album. You can even send $100 to a charity that you support. There's no middleman to take a cut and the transactions are completely anonymous. If you are a creator, you'll find your fans can financially empower you. For the first time, you can directly receive cash from them rather than a valueless like or retweet. You now have the opportunity to spend more time creating content and less time counting cents. Be part of something big, something groundbreaking. Within the first few months of creation, the Dogecoin community has already achieved great things, from funding Olympic athletes right in. Then, join the community on Reddit where thousands Okay, so I'm not gonna play it full, and uh, I, I think you got uh, like a little bit of idea about Dogecoin, like what it is. Uh, so basically, it works like any other cryptocurrency. It works in the proof of work concept. Like there'll be a lot of miners, and they'll be mining it. But unlike Bitcoin, like Bitcoin have like fixed number of uh, blocks to fork, which has 21 million. The the founders of Dogecoin can like pump and dump. as much as those coin they want so that's why the value is so low right like the the coins like litecoin uh, ethereum uh, uh, bitcoin their value is going up because they have fixed number of blocks to mine they 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 won't be uh, pushing down more and more number of blocks like more and more currency so it's like ki agar एक करोड़ लोग हैं ठीक है और कोई कोई चीज उसकी अवेलेबिलिटी सौ है ठीक है उसकी वैल्यू क्या होती है कि हंड्रेड बाई वन करोड़ बट सपोज इट हंड्रेड नंबर जिसकी क्वांटिटी है उस वैल्यू चीज की वो कंट्रोल कोई बंदा कर रहा है एंड यू कैन पंप एंड मैन थिंग सो द मोमेंट ही मेक इट फ्रॉम हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड उसकी वैल्यूशन आती है थाउजेंड बाई वन करोड़ इफ यू मेक इट टेन इट विल बी टेन थाउजेंड करोड़ तो इन केस ऑफ बिट कॉइन दैट एक्स इज अ फिक्स नंबर दैट 21 million is 21 million but in case of doge coin is a control number variable it can be anything whatever they want the thing about doge coin is ki since 2015 like this is launched in 2013 and since 2015 there was no development like till now there was no development no one was looking taking seriously this was a meme coin just to like mention ki yaar a bitcoin ka fellow and a meme coin mein chhod diya tha ki founders ne no one was taking it seriously ki yaar doge doge coin with this thing and one day uh, Our great, great, great Elon Musk tweeted about uh, Dogecoin. उसके बाद से जो है ना jump मारा, like anything. I think the founders will be millionaires by now, billionaires if not millions. This is having a market cap of about forty six billion these days. What is the market cap here? Forty nine billion. From nothing to and this is literally a <laughs> joke coin like this art. But now it's not a joke anymore. Like uh, the founder of uh, Dogecoin is now start taking it seriously. They they again started the development of this. They are again building application of this. And yeah, a lot of exchanges supports Dogecoin now, so you can do transfer. And even the vendors, like a lot of vendors, start accepting Dogecoin. So you can go and buy something via Dogecoin. Not not in India, but there are countries places there. Actually, you can do it. Like I, if I could put my Dogecoin uh, link here. address you can go and send some money to me and i will be very happy uh yeah so little bit history about dogecoin like how this dogecoin started is ke uh dogecoin is basically a fork fork of uh, lucky coin lucky coin is already a fork of litecoin and litecoin is already a fork of bitcoin so bitcoin se litecoin nikla litecoin se lucky coin nikla lucky coin se dogecoin nikla 
इनफोकिंग क्या होती है बेसिकली कि दिस पर्टिकुलर दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर क्रिप्टो करेंसी वर्क्स इन द कांसेप्ट ऑफ ब्लॉक्स एंड लाइक दैट्स व्हाई कॉल्ड ब्लॉकचेन एंड द प्रूफ ऑफ वर्क सो प्रूफ ऑफ वर्क में क्या होता है कि मल्टीपल पीपल वैलिडेट योर वर्क लाइक वैलिडेट योर ट्रांजैक्शन राइट एंड दैट्स व्हाई दे गेट पेड फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्रांजैक्शन कि दे आर डूइंग अ सक्सेसफुल ट्रांजैक्शन नाउ देयर मे बी सम डेवलपर्स व्हिच थॉट कि ये जो मेथड है लाइक दो जो इनकी एल्गो है इट्स नॉट करेक्ट दिस नॉट अ करेक्ट एल्गोरिथम to define the 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 way validating a particular ledger so what they do is they do a fork from a particular bit so fork uh, every block have the ledger where they have all the details about how many users are there and how many uh, bitcoin they are or the cryptocurrency they are uh, holding and what are the transaction been made so when you make a particular uh, fork from one block you are taking that information and you are creating a new cryptocurrency out of that particular one with a new algorithm and you because you know you already getting the details of all the ledger holders you will give some uh, money or like some uh, some coins from like some relative value coins from your account to those particular holders so earlier jab ye forking bahut chal rahi thi jab bitcoin was starting the phase like booming phase around 2016 17 right it was on a boom phase like a lot of companies were a lot of people start uh, aggressively Uh, investing in uh, bitcoin and at that particular time just lot of folks happened theek okay? hai lot of people made lot of money with just that folks because all you need to do is hold do- uh, bitcoin in your wallet and the moment a forking will happen a new crypto will launch you will automatically get some kind some crypto amount in your wallet because you have hold it that particular crypto for that particular block so all you needed to do is ki hold that cryptocurrency till that fork blocked and uh, uh, that bitcoin gold uh, bitcoin money this all kind of bitcoin slash some pseudo name are the fork from bitcoin even the litecoin is a fork from bitcoin right and then there is some fork which happened from litecoin like lucky coin was one of them and now the, the doge founder thought ki yaar lucky coin is also good but we can change change a bit little bit they get the change they fork from lucky coin itself and this is faster than bitcoin and uh, it's supported by multiple wallets but the the main concept of work is little bit same for all these fork coin they 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 can be mined okay not every crypto can be mined these are the one which can be mined and uh, for mining you'll get some kind of uh, prize money and that prize money will be obviously that particular crypto so in, in case of dog dog coin you'll get dog coin as a mining uh, uh, prize right and uh, yeah so you can start mining dog coin if you want and you can buy doge coin in bit bns you can buy it from uh, wazir you can buy it from i think most of the uh, brokerage firm supports it most of the exchanges support it so you can go to anyone and buy it uh, but to me it it doesn't make much sense like i, I don't find it's a real value still i'm keeping it because abhi uh, <laughs> it trend kar raha hai and ek ek cheez to clear hai agar uh, cryptocurrency especially right if something is trending then probably it's good time to buy that thing like keep it to yourself and why not make some money out of it right uh do i think my, uh, dogecoin will ever touch 1 dollar i think abhi just as ka hype chal raha hai right the way uh, it's been hyped till now and the way yon mas is supporting it yeah. I think it can go up to uh, one dollar easily. Very hype maintain ra for next one week. Agar to pakka ek ek dollar jayega. But is it worth it one dollar? It's no. It, it doesn't worth it one dollar. It no way it worth forty nine billion market cap. No way. But but why do you care about that? Half of the stock market is that like that. Like none of the stock worth the way uh, they are. So. If you want to make some money, probably you can just get in, set a target like, "Mujhe if I'm entering at point three dollar, I want to get out at four five dollar." Don't be greedy in in crypto market. Don't be greedy. Like, don't think that I'm at point five, I'm at point six, I'm at point six, I'm at one dollar, I'm at one dollar. The moment you start being too much greedy, right? There, then it, then probably you'll face the consequences. Some, there's a good chance that it will fall back. One time the fall happened, so you won't get the opportunity to exit again. इतनी जल्दी फॉलो होता है तो यू वॉन्ट डोज कॉइन 
यू कैन कम अप विद सम स्ट्रेटेजी लाइक मुझे इतने पे आउट करना एग्जिट करना या फिर अगर इतना तो तो भी एग्जिट करना ठीक है डोंट बैट ऑन इट बिकॉज आई नॉट बैट स्क्रिप्ट इट्स नॉट डेट गुड इट्स एक्चुअली डजेंट मेक एनी सेंस बट Uh, it's a quick money so why why not to make some money quick money right yeah uh, so, so that's the video guys that's the our podcast for today and we'll be closing out here uh, we'll coming back now next monday we'll talk about the market again uh, we'll pick up some new stock we'll talk about some new cryptocurrency or like uh, some uh, yeah some no new altcoin uh, and 